everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And anyways, so today's video is going to be all about my natural, curly, crazy ass hair that I have. All right, right now my hair feels kind of greasy, but that's because I put too much oil in my hair. Anyways, so I decided to go natural um about two weeks ago, maybe. No, I tried to actually do... I started to go natural on the 31st. Yes, on the 31st of the of of December. So it's been like a, what, like two weeks now that I started to go on natural. And if you guys notice, I have some something in my ear, just my headphones, and I'm playing music in my ears because I feel like jamming out. And my boyfriend keeps texting me. No, that wasn't my boyfriend. And I'm, I'm getting so distracted. Anyways, so I went natural um, towards the ending of last year. I got all of the products that I wanted to buy. I looked up videos online because I miss my curly hair. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like, okay, so you see like this one right here? It's like nice and curly. But then this little piece is like this one. It's like, looks all like messed up. Like what does it want to do with itself? So parts of my hair I like because it wants to go back to being curly again. Other parts, like the top part, is like, no, I want to be straight. No, I want to be wavy. So my right, right now my hair is going to a damn mess. Because that's how much I damaged my hair. If you guys are wondering, yes, my hair is somewhat red. I have to revive the color again because the blonde wants to kind of come out. And I don't want the blonde again. So... I'm going to show you guys the products that I am using on my hair, products that I did use to use on my hair. Um, but since I ran out, I brought new products for my hair, um, different ones to try out, which I already know will work on me because I know my hair type. So, so I have really curly hair, except for right now that my hair is damaged due to a lot of bleaching, due to a lot of heat toolings. You know, like flat iron, curling irons. I did. I blow dryers. I did it all. And, oh yeah, and also bleaching. I did a lot of bleaching to this hair. So I'm gonna show you guys like a few things that I use in the shower when it's day to wash my hair. Which I'm gonna wash my hair. I think tonight I'm gonna wash my hair. Um, if not tomorrow, I'll wash it. Um. And so first things first, when I am going to wash my hair. I use these three products right here. This one is actually, these all are from, are from the same brand. This is the Tropic Isles Living Jamaican pro product. You can get them on Amazon. The link is going to be down below in the description box. Um, this one is specifically an oil, which is like, I don't even know. It's like about like up to here now. Like I've used it so much. But this is a red pimiento hair growth oil. So this, I've honestly, many products claim that they grow hair, that they do this, that they, that they do that. Although certain ones do help, others do not help. Like for example, I used to be on Sugar Bear Hair and that one did help my hair grow a lot when I very first started Sugar Bear Hair. But then I took, a, I took like a break from it. I had it again for like three months and I saw nothing on my hair. Like it was like no change at all. Like my hair was not growing anymore. Um, so I turned over a new leaf. I went up to these products and honestly, I honestly feel like my hair, although it's been two weeks, but it's been two weeks, I do feel my hair being a bit more voluminous. I do feel like the curls are slowly coming back. Um, cause like I said, I have natural curly hair. So I do feel like my curls are coming back like I know for a fact the ones on like on the back side of my hair is definitely back I'm just focusing more on the front here you see like here it's more like straight right here and waviness over here so that's what I'm working on right now so this is what I normally would use this I use like the night before I leave it on all night long all over my hair and I just sleep on it and along with coconut oil, which I don't have with, with me right now, but it's actually in the kitchen. But I do mix coconut oil as well. And I, and I just put it on the coconut oil. I actually just put it like right here where it's mainly dry. Um, 
so that has been helping up my hair. Like I said, I do feel it growing a little bit. Um, I feel like little like little patches like right here because normally here I used to be like you guys see like the little like little spot like the empty spot. It's, it used to be a lot bigger, like a lot bigger. Um, but now I feel like it's starting to like fill in a little bit more. So it's kind of weird, but for me, for me, it's working. Okay, for me, it's fucking working. Um, but on t the day to day basis. I actually would use these two babies right here. I know I talked about all about curls before. I think I still have a YouTube video up on it. If I don't, maybe I took it down because it was glitching. Because I know I took down one video or two, or two videos that was actually glitch that was glitching on me. So I got these two babies. Um, these actually helped up my curls a, a lot. They only work when my hair is wet, and I've noticed when my hair is wet, and I do. The crazy stuff that I do to it, that I add so much products to my hair, my hair actually grabs onto those products even more. So I guess that's where like my curls like actually grab on better. Um. So today, these two products I no longer have of like I think I have like a little bit more of like the gel, but the bouncy part gone, completely gone. So today my hair is dry, so I have my little watch however right here so i'm just gonna spray a little bit well not a little bit like a whole lot like my hair has to be like really wet and if you guys are wondering no i have no towel with me right now so if shit gets wet shit gets wet okay okay my hair feels really okay yeah my hair feels really wet so normally I would wet my hair. I wet my hair. So you see that my right now my hair looks like really like my curls want to come back right here. It doesn't look more straight. Like you see, like that's like that's how my hair really is. So my hair has to be really wet for it to like I said, I have really dry hair, so and that's only due because of all the damaging that I've done to it, all the bleaching, the heat tools that i've used on my hair and normally i would comb my hair out but my hair doesn't have to be combed right now yeah like my fingers are going through somewhat smoothly so i'm not gonna comb it out because i don't want to like you see this shit this is on my hair one thing is when it comes to curly hair if you want to keep your hair all natural and curly and stuff like that listen the one tip that i learned a few months ago was Never comb your curly hair dry, okay? Don't do it. Ah, got hair now. Got red hair in my mouth. Never comb your curly hair dry. One, your hair gets angry with you. Yes, hair has feelings. Apparent, apparently, it has feelings. So never comb your curly hair dry. When you really want to comb your hair out, make sure that you're doing it after you take a shower, when your hair is still wet or damped or whatever that's when you can but never never do it when your hair is actually dry because all of that is gonna make your hair break more um and all that other good stuff and that's never a good thing so once my hair is actually nice and wet like my hair looks really short like my hair's like up to here Right? Like up to here. Like literally. I stand up. My hair's like up to here. But when my hair is straight, it's like up to here. So, um, yeah. So I have really long hair. But I wanted to grow more. I miss where my hair before when I was younger, my hair used to be up to here. So right now my hair's up to here. So this is how much of hair I lost. That's a lot of hair. So normally what I what I like to do is flip my hair over like this i don't know if you guys can see me so i'm gonna do like this flip my hair over i got this this is actually the new l'oreal professional this is bouncy and tender so it's like um a gel mixed with like the bouncy so pretty much say is these two products mixed in one so i get this at my job you can only get this is at salons so if you go to a salon or whatever, ask if they have this one, if you have curly hair. 
but keep in mind i know what works for my hair there's a lot of different curly hair types so make sure that you know your own curly hair type and then we can discuss okay so it looks like that clear is coming out too so it's like a little gel mixed with with um the bouncy cream so my hair's like this now right you guys can see that yeah okay so i mix it all in together in my hand in my, my palms and then i'll do it just like this that's all i do make sure that i'm crunching my hair make sure that everything is getting it so once my hair dries it dries really bouncy and curly and beautiful and then that's then voila and honestly that's pretty much it that's all i do to my hair um if i'm going to work i don't comb it or brush it i just pass my hands through like this and then I'll just clip it on the back so that my hair looks like like this. You see like how pretty that curl is right now? Like this is like honestly like my favorite strand right here. Cause it feels more full and heavy. But it's like the rest of my hair that feels more like lightweight and like if I lost so much hair, which I'd have. So I pretty much get like a hair clip. Normally it'll be those little tiny ones, not this big one, but for the sake of this video, I'll use a big one. And then that's just about it. So I have my hair like this. And then I just go about my damn day. Now, if you do not know what is your hair type, look up different curly hair types. My hair is... It's not... <coughs> Excuse me that I'm coughing so much. My hair type, I have more like loose curly hair that wants to be tight, but it's not really tight. So it's more like in the middle. I, it's more it's more loose than, 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 than anything right now. But there's people who have really tight curly hair. So maybe the products that I'm using may not work for their hair type. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But I'm showing you what works for me and my hair type. I know that my hair is damaged, my hair needs a lot of protein, my hair needs a lot of everything, lots of help. Um, what, and then also, you want to make sure that you read on the back, like, not many people can tolerate alcohol on their hair. So let's just say, like, hair gel, no. Listen, for me, hair gel is the worst thing that could happen to my hair, okay? Like, if I have hair gel on... Like strictly just hair gel, nothing else, like level five, six, whatever, like the highest. That's a big no-no for me. Like the amount of alcohol that those gels has for my hair is super damaging. Like my hair just falls off. Literally my hair just falls off. Like well, there was one time I took a shower and I, had, I was taking off hair gel. And it, and it was like a big ball of just hair. Like my hair falls off if I, if I use too much gel that has really high amount of alcohol. So normally you want to look at the ingredients on the back of the product. Now, curly hair, yes, you might need a little a little bit of alcohol, but make sure that it's like the third, fourth, fifth, sixth ingredient. If it's like the first ingredient, that's not I'm like, no. Adios. Like au revoir. Saranara. No, thank you. I don't need that alcohol being like the first ingredient. I think it was the first ingredient. It was the first ingredient in some okay see so this one the the um the bouncy cream for this brand it was the second one and i was like no thank you um for this ingredient for this ingredient for this one which is like this is this is an actual gel it contained no alcohol actually i don't see no alcohol on here no no alcohol just just words that i cannot pronounce now for this one, alcohol is the third one on the list. Um, it, it contains glycerin, water, which is good, lots of water, 
Um, it contains like other stuff that I cannot pronounce, some type of acid, more glycerin, um, whatever. But glycerin is like, but some people, I know some people who have curly hair and they can't have glycerin on their hair. Like their hair just gets all types of weirdness to it. But my hair can tolerate glycerin. Other other people's hair can't. So I know, like I said, I know what works for my hair. If alcohol is like the first, second, I just can't do it. I really can't do it because it's not good for my hair type. It's not good for me or anything of that. So that's about it. But so figure out what works for you and your hair type. Now I do know if you do have curly hair, no matter if it's loose curls, tight curls, whatever, whatever type of curls, use coconut oil. That's gonna be the that's your best friend, coconut oil. Trust me. Co coconut oil, listen, I can't use co I cannot use coconut oil on my face at all. It's like it's like the death of me, okay? Like coconut oil for me breaks me the fuck out. But, but for my hair, that's like the holy girl. Okay, like my hair sucks up all that oil and then my hair gets like all nice and fluffy and all nice and cute. Um, but for my face, yeah, no. Coconut oil is, is like the depth of me. I, I can't apply that shit to my face whatsoever. But I do recommend that you use coconut oil I do recommend that you find stuff that works for you and your hair type. I suggest you go to a hair salon that's that's tailored to curly hairs. Although my salon doesn't tailor to curly hairs all that much. We do have curly hair clients, but it's not really that much people that goes there that has curly hair. At least based on my knowledge, based on what I've seen, I've, I, have, I haven't seen that many people. Um... I don't know who's calling me. Ignore me. Ignore people. Anyways. So, with that being said, you guys, I will see you all on my next YouTube video. And I will see you all soon. Bye.